Dave. Today marks the 50th anniversary of the death of civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We're here today with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter to discuss this somber anniversary. It's great to have you back here. Thank you very much. All right, so let's talk about this anniversary. A lot of people remembering Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on this day. For those who were alive at the time, they can remember exactly where they were during this moment in history. Exactly. Many people tell me that all the time. And for me, um, the rule in my house when I was growing up as a kid is that you did your homework in your room. That's why you had a room. And um, that night my parents were out and I had my homework um, out on the kitchen table and I had the news on in the other room, in the living room. And NBC Nightly News, back then it was the Huntley Brinkley Report, ended. And I kept on working, and then all of a sudden at 7 o'clock, Chet Huntley came back on, and he said that Dr. King had been shot and killed. And all I heard was King shot killed. Now, I was blessed at that time to be in a school where we were up on current events. I mean, you know, it was drilled into us. So many of my classmates and I knew exactly, you know, what the ramifications of this were sure. and how important it was because we knew of him. And what was going on at that time. And what was time. going on at that time, yeah. Wow. All right, so I know that this was covered nationally, obviously, yeah. but what about back here in northeastern Pennsylvania? Was there a lot of coverage of this event? I wasn't aware of the coverage of the event, mainly because um, I didn't remember it. In other words, like I was aware of it back then, but I wasn't aware of the local coverage. So I went to the Oosterhout Free Library, a wonderful resource across the street from WBRE, and I researched a lot of stuff, and I found out that the coverage locally at least was more or less about the violence that ensued after King had died rather than um, rather than his life and what his mission was. It wasn't until later that that coverage kind of changed so that kind of surprised me a little bit. What about the tension in this area? Did you feel it here? I know that in other parts of the country the tension was strong. There, 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 wasn't, there wasn't any violence and there wasn't any tension or anything like that. Uh, there was a remembrance though that I'd like to tell you about. There was a remembrance um, that was at the um, Mount Zion Baptist Church. Um, the pastor, Wesley Adelber Ad Adderberry, um, had economic, uh, had, had faiths, um, had, had ecumenical, had ecumenical faiths of all um, Catholic faiths and uh, Presbyterian. They had ministers of every single faith, that's what I'm trying to say. And they actually uh, did this incredible service that was on Palm Sunday weekend. King got shot on April the 4th and died on April the 4th. That was Holy Week. And there was a, a great juxtaposition of, of, of what he was preaching with the um, civil rights and also what was happening, you know, in, in this community. Now, the church and this ecumenical service raised about $600. Now, in real dollars now, it doesn't seem to be a lot of money, but that money went to the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and that was a lot of money. Doctor, of what Dr. King funded. A lot and, of money back then. Right, and that kind of turned the media coverage because, again, people were looking at it from the standpoint that, all right, you know, this was a person with a mission and this was a terrible thing that happened. And all faiths came together to decry this violence against him. Sure, and you write about this in your blog. If folks want to check that blog out, how can they do so? LulacPoliticalUnder.blogspot.com. Today we have a special feature and we have all of the um, information from the newspaper as I referenced before on the blog. Great. David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. As always, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for being Let's here. Let's send it over to Dave.